This is a comparison of my brand new GLM50C from Bosch to, again, a Bosch old GLM40. There isn't a huge age difference. This is probably only about two years old, but the first thing I'll point out is the size difference. Putting them side by side, you can see that just dimensionally, they're very different. But really, it's the thickness that makes a big deal. If you're clipping this onto your belt or putting it in your pocket even, this is a really inconvenient shape. It's, it's bigger than a tape measure. Whereas this actually can slide very easily into your pocket. It's almost the size of a chunky phone. Whereas this really, eh, it's more like a tape measure, like I said. The overall, very similar. Um, they both have rubberized edges. They're both nicely ruggedized. But the first thing I'll, I'll point out, and I'll point this out sort of in the light and the dark, is there's a big screen difference. And I'll go into more a little bit later. Um, all, most of the functionalities are about the same. Um, this one can connect to Bluetooth. That's a feature that most of the new Bosch measures do have. Otherwise, functionally, they're very similar. I'll go into some of the screens about the functions on the Bosch DLM and 50C in the next part of the video. But I just wanted to show you really side by side. These are similar, but very different, uh, different components. Uh, both of them can connect onto a tripod. Both of them have the same type battery hatches. And in fact, as you can see, same type of batteries. Anyway, that's all for now. I just wanted to show you some of the, the similarities and differ differences between these two. And I'll go in a little bit more about using the 50C in the next parts of the video. Thanks. Comparing the GLM 50C and an older GLM 40, I wanted to especially look at the screens. As you can see, the GLM 50C on the left here has what looks like to be a modern LCD screen. While the one on the right has looks like an old-fashioned calculator screen where you can actually see the numbers in the background you can see all the possible numbers sort of laid out on the screen where they could possibly everything looks kind of like an 8 faded in the background. This is a much nicer, more modern screen. As you can see, the refresh rate, everything's a lot better about it. While the old uh, 40 really does the job, it's very nice. You can see some of the functions on here, like the real time, length. All of these things are much better laid out on the new new computerized system than they were on the old, where you could really... It had a menu of stuff, but you sort of could just flip through things. There weren't a lot of ways to do things. There weren't a lot of ways to set up different stuff. All of these things on here <clears throat> just make it much easier to figure out exactly what you want to do. Wall area, indirect, volume, using the, the functions. Anyway, it isn't that different in terms of functionality. It really does the same type of thing. But you can see... It's just a lot more practical in terms of any person being able to figure these out, not having to read the manual. I love things that are intuitive and you can just figure out. But it's really the screen I wanted to show you. Right now in bright light, I'm going to take another part of the video and show it in the dark and show you how, how these show up differently. All right, I'm back again with the GLM 50C and the GLM 40. As you can see, I have the GLM 40 lit up right now. When you press the buttons, the screen lights up a little bit. It's a little brighter. Whereas the GLM 50C is already bright. It's an LED screen, LCD screen that is art that is backlit. So you can easily see this. You can see the difference how it even has a nice background. Everything looks good. It's very easy to read in the dark. The GLM40, when you first turn it on, on and off, and when you're pressing the buttons will be bright, but it will dim itself after a little while. And that's not really a big deal. As soon as you hit a button it will light up. But it's really just much easier to read the GLM 50C in the dark. It's a very easy to read computer like screen. Anyway, that's all for now. I just wanted to show you how these look in the dark and give you an idea. I think that the GLM 50C, one of the big innovations is really the screen and the functionality of the computer. That's all.